hello friends and welcome back now in the previous video we wrote the script for our player and now we can move our player in the scene left and right so now let's uh, move on now in the first thing you need to do is in your assets folder you need to create a folder with the same name so it is important actually to spell it spell it correctly so it is a resources folder and then you need to drag your player and drop it in the resources folder and delete your player prefab from this prefabs folder now delete it from prefabs folder then go to resources drag player and drop it right here again click on the player and make sure that this pv uh, photon view field is initialized so if it is uh, lost simply just drag this photon view and drop it right here now in the code uh, we are using get axis so and we have some code to comment so now the next step is to actually uh, instantiate the player at runtime because right now we have a player in the scene hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel so before proceeding to the video i just want you guys to know about my multiplayer course so i have created a multiplayer course with over 40 plus lectures and you can see that it's uh, more than six hours of lectures on multiplayer game development using photon 2 which is the latest version in 2019 so uh, this is the very detailed course and in uh, there are some free videos and you can uh, take that to see if this course is good for you or not so uh, the link of the discount coupon is in the description but we are going to instantiate it at runtime and also we need to disable this main camera and enable the camera that we have in our player so make sure that by default this camera is going to be disabled and after we instantiate the player we are going to disable the main cam and enable the player game so let's go back to our player script and in here i am going to uh, define two variables so public game object and one of them is going to be scene camera and copy the same line paste it and the other one is going to be player camera now uh, let's uh, define the start function so void start and in the start function we are going to disable this scene camera so copy that and scene camera dot set active is going to be false and the player camera dot set active is going to be true now let's put one another condition here so if photon view dot is mine so what this line is going to do so let me complete it and then i am going to explain so because uh, our script is going to be on the same player so in the scene we will have two players so one of the player is our player and the second player is going to be our opponent's player because the script is same on both of the players so we only want to disable our cameras once because uh, doing it twice is useless so that's why we are checking if we are the local player then only we are going to enable only our camera and disable our scene camera because if this line is not present here what we this will do is this is going to set the both players camera 
to active so we don't want that and now what we can do is we are going to go back to our uh, editor and select the player and initialize both of these fields so they will be available in a moment because it is compiling so now and in the scene camera we are going to drag and drop the main camera right here and in the player camera just drag this camera into here so now we have uh, changed some values so it is now we are going to hit apply so now let's uh, delete our player and now if we drag our player you can see that the scene camera is not initialized now let's see what we can so actually uh, we uh, dragged our main camera from the hierarchy and when we deleted our player from this uh, hierarchy this reference gets lost so uh, instead of uh, assigning it from here what we can do is we can go to the uh, script and make it private and the scene camera is so in the void awake or simply we can do is we can simply say player camera is going to be equal to game object dot find and we are going to find the main camera in the scene so let's copy the name of main camera and paste it right here now we actually don't have to create this camera we can simply by using that we can call the set active function but for now i am going to leave it as it is so now let's go back and in here we are going to create a new game object and let's call it so spawn manager or simply manager so this is going to be our game manager and on that we are going to create a new script in our scripts folder and let's call it we can call it manager now uh, we are going to drag this manager on to our manager game object so it is not found so still compiling so make sure it is compiled and then drag our script so now we can so let's open it up in visual studio and in here we, we can do is we are going to instantiate and spawn our player so let's create a void spawn player and we are only going to spawn the player if the photon view is mine but well actually we can simply instantiate our player because we, there is no need to check if the photon view is mine or not because uh, this skip and this function is only going to run once because it is on in the game so don't worry just uh, write this spawn player function and in here we can use photon network and for that we are going to use the using photon dot pun photon network dot instantiate and this instantiate is going to take three arguments so the one is the prefab name so what we can do is we can from the resources folder we can copy the name of our player and put it 
right here now the position so actually what we are going to do is we are going to take the public reference of our uh, game player game object so game object player prefab and now we can use the default position right here so player prefab dot sorry transform dot position and player prefab dot transform dot rotation also instead of hard coding in the name here we can simply say player prefab dot name so whatever name our player has just use that now in the start i am going to call this function so right here we are going to call spawn player and save our script now everything should work fine let's uh, go back to our editor and i think we need to assign our player right here so drag the player from the resources folder into this field and hit apply on our player game object make sure this camera is disabled and let's delete the player from our hierarchy now i am going to build it and we are going to test the game well actually before uh, running the game uh, just make sure that you uncomment these line that we previously commented so i'm going to uncomment it save the script and go back to our so i have a uh, build two builds separate builds so you can do that by simply uh, going to your build settings and create a build so i have one build so in here you can see that in the test one i have my first build so simply copy that folder and paste it again and run the first build from the first folder and the second build from your second folder so you will have two instances on your machine so i'm going to click on the connect button on both of the instances so now let's uh, go here and create a room so i am going to say room one and create a room and in here we are going to join the same room so room one and we are going to join that room so now you can see we are both of the players are connected in the same room so if i go on this instance and i control my player you can see that our player is moving on both instance so it is a bit laggy you can uh, actually see the um, delay well uh, this is uh, due to uh, the internet connection so my internet connection is right now very slow so uh, that's why we are having this issue so similarly if on that instance i move my player our player is moving and syncing our movement on the network now uh, actually in most of the games you will find this delay so it is uh, not actually a big problem so if your internet connection is good and we can actually uh, manipulate and change the uh, values of the send rate so send rate is actually the time in how many times in a second photon is going to send the movement update so we will increase that in future videos maybe but for now it's working fine so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next